Hi Nesters! Welcome to our second episode for this week's theme, Mental Health Awareness. In today's episode, we'll be exploring and learning about what worry and rumination mean and how to overcome it. Dr. Darwin Bison will explain us more based on one of our viewers' questions. Hi, my name is Nasreen Saif. My problem is that I can't stop worrying over small things. It's affecting my studies because I can't focus properly. How can I overcome this? Now, I'm guessing that many of you can relate in some form to the problem described in the question. So before we discuss possible solutions, let's break down the question into smaller chunks and discuss each one in turn. Now firstly, there's an element of control, in this case a lack of control, when the viewer says they can't stop a particular behaviour. In this example, the behaviour is worry, or in other words, thinking negatively about future events. Now the third element is also about control. Again, the lack of control, when the viewer says they are unable to focus their attention on their studies. Now, unless control is regained, the outcome will not be what you intend. It's like driving a car and not being able to keep your hands on the steering wheel. Now, before we look at some practical steps, let's first try to understand what is happening with a simple framework using the analogy of a time machine. The three time frames are past, present, and future. Now, when we are thinking about the past with a negative focus, this is often called rumination. Now, the longer we are stuck in that past, ruminating, the lower our mood can become, making it harder to be focused on where we are supposed to be in the present. Now, the second time frame, which is where our viewer is spending most of their time, is the future. And again, the longer we spend thinking about the future with a negative focus, in other words, worry, the more anxious we become, again, making it harder to focus on where we need to be, the present. So now we understand that it is our thought process that requires control. How do we go about doing that? In other words, how do we keep ourselves from time traveling? Now think about the mind as a muscle. The stronger the muscle is, the more we can hold the position. So the first tip is to notice when your mind muscle is not holding the desired position, in this case, focusing on their studies. Once you notice this, try to go back and hold that position for as long as you can. And every time you notice your mind has time traveled, bring it back to that present moment. The more you exercise your mental muscle, the stronger it gets and the more likely you can hold your attention on what you intend it to focus on. Now the second tip is related to worry itself and you need to ask yourself a series of questions. The first of which is, is there something I can do about this immediately? If so, then do it. Is it something that can be either delegated or scheduled for some time in the future? If so, then do it. Is it something that I can never ever do something about? If no, then let it go. And again, refocus on the present moment. Now for some people, worry and rumination is a hard habit to break. If so, then you might want to allocate specific worry time. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but for example, I will worry at 6 p.m. For, for 30 minutes, then stop and do what I must do. This helps us put boundaries around the various activities, including those that we're gradually trying to break. You can gradually reduce that time from half an hour to smaller and smaller chunks, leaving you with more time to be where it matters most in the present moment. In this example, focusing on studies. We hope this has helped you to cope with rumination. Let's continue to stay connected as we stay mentally healthy because together we grow. I am Arian Celestino. We'll live in interesting times.
We hope you enjoyed that video. If you found it valuable, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. If you're on Instagram, please follow us at EBC Digital Nest. If you're on Facebook, please pay our page a visit and like it. Here at Digital Nest, we continue to make healthy connections with those who desire to grow and with those who aspire to be inspired. We'll see you next time.